Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a special type of math. We are going to be doing body surface area. This is typically introduced in your pediatric class because we have to be so precise when we're giving medications to little ones, but it can be used on anybody of any age. So the first things you need to know are these formulas. These formulas, they don't change, they are standard. You have to memorize them, okay? So there's two of them here. This one has to do with centimeters and kilograms. So if your problem is giving you values in centimeters and kilograms, you're gonna use this one. And then this one is if you have inches or pounds. So they call this you know, metric or household measurement. So depending on what your problem is asking, you're gonna choose the appropriate formula. So let's do a practice one. You have an infant who is 50 centimeters long and weighs 3.2 kilograms. So you need to plug those values into this equation. So 50 centimeters times multiplied by 3.2 kilograms divided by 3600. So this value is part of this formula. This is not going to change. It doesn't matter what values we have here. This is always going to be 3600. So when we do the math, 50 times 3.2 divided by 3600, we get 0 0.044. So we need to find the square root of this. So simply punch in your calculator the square root of 0 0.044, and then we get 0.21m squared. So this is our answer. This is our body surface area for this infant. Let's do another one. In this example, we have an adult who is 69 inches long and weighs 195 pounds. So now we're using inches and pounds. So we're not going to use this formula, we're going to use this one. But it's the same concept, you have to plug in these numbers. So we're 69 inches times 195 pounds divided by 3131. And that number never changes either. So once we do 69 times 195 divided by 3131, we get the square root of 4.297. And then the final step is putting this in your calculator. And then we get 2.07m squared. So this is our body surface area. This is the answer to this question. Now let's do another one. Are we getting the hang of it yet, right? These aren't hard as long as you know these formulas. So we have a child who is 105 centimeters long and weighs 31.8 kilograms. So we're going to use this equation, this formula, and we have to plug our stuff in here. So we have 105 centimeters times 31.8 kilograms divided by 3600, right? Because that number never changes. When we do that, we get the square root of 0 0.927. And then when we put this in our calculator to figure out, okay, what is the square root of 0 0.927? we get 0 0.96. So this is our body surface area. This is the answer to our question. Figuring out body surface area equations aren't too hard as long as you know the formula. This is the priority, and unfortunately, it's just something you have to memorize. So remember, there are two of them, one for centimeters and kilograms and one for inches and pounds. And these denominators, do not change, which is a good thing. So if you just remember these and you can plug in the appropriate parts of your equation, you can do these problems easily. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.